Hello and welcome everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today we'll be hosting our ASP.NET application using Smarter ASP. So the first step is to check if the application actually works. So I have this project in my GitHub, uh, I'll put the link down below. It's basically a real estate website, it's very very simple. Okay, so it works. So it's uh, in French actually, so yeah, I don't, don't really worry about that. So as you can see, we have some very basic, you know, uh, landing page, login. Login is very basic. Okay, so I think I have to fix this sometime later. Anyway. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we go to Smarter ASP. Click on Get Started. If you have uh, an account, use it. If you don't, uh, create a new one. So now that the application works, let's create an account. So let's put in our information in here. Let's, uh, I hope you put my affiliate ID in here. Uh, it's Zeridev. If you don't, I mean. Okay, so it will ask us for email verification. So go to your email and uh, verify the email. Once you have activated your email, let's go and log in with our account. So once you log in, you will be sent to this uh, billings page. So yeah, just click on try now. So this was, uh, I mean, this is a new uh, interface. It's very beautiful, I guess, com compared to the previous one. Anyway, let's click on try now. It will give us a free trial. So here, fill in your password. I recommend you use the same password so that it doesn't get confusing later. Uh, so yeah. For the website, name the website the what you want to name it. I will call it real estate because this is a real estate application. So yeah, uh, Facebook bots, anyway, anyway. So yeah, let's click next. So now we have our uh, website. So let's click submit. Now that the setup is nearly finished, we are going to get directed to our dashboard. So yeah, let's wait for that to get uh, to direct us. Uh, if you are willing to, if you're like going to host an actual website in here, I recommend you get uh, a domain, a domain name. So you can go to name.com or namecheap.com. I mean, I'm going to put some affiliates links in the link down below if you want to help the channel a little bit without any extra cost for you. Anyway, let's go to our hosting. So we'll be, we'll see this, uh, you know, list of uh, our servers. Let's go to control panel. And let's, cre let's create a new website. Uh, actually, I think the website is already created. Here it is. So yeah, uh, so now how to deploy our application. First of all, we need to create a database. Let's go to databases, MSSQL, and let's create a new database. As always, I recommend you just put the same password you have in here, because it will be very difficult if you don't remember it. Uh, and use uh, you know, a version that is, you know, supported by your framework. So I'm using .NET 5, which is a pr nearly the latest one, I would say. So we'll be using MSSQL 2019. So yeah, let's click Submit. So, uh, database name. Okay, let's see again what's the problem here. Okay, let's go with database name. Let's name it uh, Real Estate. And let's submit that. Okay. Now that we have this, let's let's go in here and click on connection string examples. Let's copy the first one. Let's go here. Let's go to our properties. I think no, it's not properties. It's app settings. In app settings, we go here and we replace this. And we, of course, need to put our password in here. Now that we have put our password in here, let's go and try to create a migration. I'm not sure if it works. I mean, I haven't tried this before. Uh, but before you do that, make sure you always delete the, mi the previous migrations if you have a new database. Okay, so now let's create new DB. 
I'm not sure if the if the migrations will work. No, actually the migrations will work, but if updating the database will work, I'm not sure. Okay, so cool. Now we have an actual database. Okay, so this is how you set up the database in MSSQL in Smarter ASP. You just copy the link in your project and you uh, create migrations and update the database. Let's first of all verify that the, the database contains our tables. Let's go to WebConnect and let's enter our password, our database app password. And now that we have enter that we will see our database let's go to tables first of all and as you can see we have our tables in here so the second thing we want to check okay before that let's actually publish our website so let's go in here uh, let's me remove this for a second let's go to publish tools no it's build publish real estate and we will be using uh, where is it? Where is it? Web server IIS. So let's use web deploy. No, actually, let's go back. Let's go back for a second. So what you want to do here is you go to your website, you go manage website, VS web deploy, and you download the published settings. And always remember your password because you will need it in every step. So now that we have the published settings, let's go to here, import profile, next. Let's import our profile and we are nearly finished. So the next thing I recommend you do is you go here, you modify a little bit of things. So let's see, release.NET 5, framework dependent, portable. Uh, yeah, I think this is probably it. So always add your password in here and click on save password and validate connection so that we can deploy without any problems. And if you have any problems in your deployment, verify that this is checked. Let's go back to settings, database. Of course, use this as a connection string. We don't need any migrations because we have already done that. So yeah, let's save and let's publish our application. So I'll be back when the application is published. Okay, so after reading the error problem in here, I've, I, I noticed that we need to allow uh, un uncertified things anyway so the problem is the server that we are trying to publish the application to is not trusted so we need to allow untrusted certificates so for this we'll go to properties publish profiles and default settings I don't think it exists in here so yeah let's uh, copy it from stack overflow I guess so let's go here let's copy this okay so just so I don't forget add this also Add the use MS deploy exe. Add it to your publish settings. Not sure why, maybe it will make it faster or something like that. Because I've seen it take a very, very long while. Uh, especially in here, you can see the MS deploy thing. So if it's published for you already, yeah, just jump to the next step. If it didn't, you can add this line. So maybe it will work now. Just one note before I go to the, you know, before the publishing is finished. If you have a, a mixed project like this one, uh, which has, you know, Razor, I mean, Blazor with uh, Razor pages, uh, there is a problem that I have noticed that when you try to actually, like, post a form in Blazor, it does not work, which is a very big problem, in my opinion. But yeah, uh, we'll see if it works or not when we start working in here. So let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. So let's see. Uh, so this is uh, created using Blazor. And it's inside uh, a .NET Core MVC web application. So you know the problem, I think it's in this file selection thing. I'm not, a, I'm not sure. So let's say I create a new project. So the one that I selected disappears and the form does not even post. I'm not sure why. Uh, even if you click create multiple times, it does not work. Okay, so now that the application is published, it will automatically take us to the home page. Okay, I'm going to deactivate this black thing anyway. 
Okay, so now we have our application. So now what is left is just to test it. So let's go to our login and let's create an account. And uh, okay, so just uh, as a side note, if you already have, uh, you know, the application and you already have like a, an admin role and stuff in your local database, you just have to copy that. Uh, you, have, you just have to copy the SQL queries and you just go to web connect. Let me just show you. Uh, sorry, in MS SQL. You go here to web connect. You log in. Uh, you go to tools, run query, and you post the queries, you know, for the, first of all, for the creation of the role, the admin role, the creation of the admin account, and the user roles uh, table. So yeah, uh, the roles, the users, and the user roles. And after that, you will have an admin account. So the next thing you'll try to do is, you know, you add items, you remove items, you do whatever you want. Uh, but yeah, so before that, let's do one final thing, which is the managing the files. So when you uh, publish this application, all the files in the Smarter ASP, uh, you know, file thing are read only. But that is a problem when you, not, when you need to upload a file, you can't because it is read only. So what you do is we go to our file manager, you go to the folder where you need to upload files and you go to file permissions and you turn it to read and write and you update uh, the permissions so for us here it's automatically read and write so we don't have to worry about it about it so yeah uh, this is it this finishes the tutorial on how to deploy your ASP.NET application using smarter ASP so yeah thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time